Hey there, seekers of style knowledge and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe with some straight talk from a gay guy. And today I'm going to go over 10 style and etiquette rules that really no longer apply. And the first one is holding the door open for a woman. The reason that that doesn't apply anymore is because you should hold the door open for everybody. You're a gentleman. You have manners. There's somebody behind you. Open the door for them. I can't tell you how many times I'm going in somewhere and I'm two steps behind somebody and they let the door shut on my face. That It's just rude. It shows lack of respect and it shows lack of manners. Hold the door open for everybody. Two, apparently there was a rule at one point in time that when you were meeting a woman first time uh, in a social setting, you waited for her to extend her hand. Why? You're meeting her for the first time. She's meeting you. Hi, my name is Joe. It's just that simple. Number three, no elbows on the table. Now, I agree that this looks better, not to put your elbows on the table. But the reason that that rule was invented, because at one time, when there was lack of furniture, tables were on a trussle. They raised the table up, they put the trussles under. The dishes, the food, it became heavy. You put your elbows on that table, the table could collapse. We no longer have to worry about that. So, elbows on the table, it's passable. Number four, always tuck in your shirt. Now, if it's a dress shirt, always tuck it in. If you don't tuck in a dress shirt, it looks sloppy. But your t-shirts, your polos, your more casual shirts that are cut with a tail that's shorter, they don't have to be tucked in. Number five, you can't wear white after Labor Day. It... it it's just not a thing anymore. There's winter white, there's bone, there's so many different shades that you can. And again, if it makes you happy, you should do it. Number six, you always need to wear a suit to an interview. While I think if you're going for a job that calls for that, that's the appropriate thing to do. But if you're working at a company that has a much more casual vibe, which a lot of them do, you're going to look out of place. You're almost going to look like you didn't research the dress code of the company. I say that if you're going for an interview, research what that culture is. Research what the dress code is and go maybe one step above. If it's more casual, wear a dress shirt and a pair of slacks. If it's dressy casual, wear a blazer and a tie with your shirt. Just go one step above. Number seven, you always have to wear a tie with a suit coat. No, you don't. It's just that simple. Number eight, always take your hat off inside. Now, that's a hard one for me to break because I was raised with that. But if you look around at most restaurants nowadays, there's no place to hang your hat. What are you going to do? Sit down on the table? Ew. Number nine, you can't mix black and brown and you can't mix black and navy. Black, brown. Black, brown. Black, brown. And I'm a huge fan of navy and black together. And number 10, is that your metals must match color and your leathers must match color. Rose gold, silver. It's a brave new world, folks. You can be brave in it. The, the black and brown, the navy and black, the, the, silver, the uh, metals must match, the leather colors must match. That's great for when you're first starting out. But when you have your style established, when you know what you're doing, those rules right there can be broken. Hey folks, this has been Joe from Style by Joe with 10 social and etiquette rules that you can break. Style by Joe, of course, is my YouTube channel. Style by Joe is my Instagram, my, U my, Instagram, my Facebook, and my Gmail. Hey folks, stay stylish and I'll talk to you soon.